expecting those temperatures once again to remain mostly warm through the next few hours. But other than that, a flash flood watch in effect for portions of northern Harris. But we are expecting those conditions to remain mostly a bit on the the uh, more active side as we head into the next few hours, but we are expecting it to be our go. We are expecting those conditions to remain mostly a bit to more active in terms of along the I-390 corridor, but we are expecting uh, lots of rain. There is a special weather statement in place for portions of uh, northeast, northwestern Harris County. We could see some pea-sized hail uh, with these storms as we go into the next few hours. So expecting those conditions to remain mostly active with that flood threat increasing for northern Harris County heading into the next few hours, especially for Bush Airport. So seeing this torrential heavy rainfall, areas that you see shaded in green is under a flash flood warning that does include Harris, Liberty, Montgomery counties as a lot of folks are affected from this. This is over 176,000 people affected included in this flash flood warning uh, that lives in northern Harris County. But uh, we are expecting those conditions to remain mostly more active in terms of the rainfall. We've seen close to radar estimated 10 inches of rain north of the town, uh, 8.7 inches of rain, 9.1 inches of rain in and around portions of Walker. County, but uh, expecting this uh, flooding threat to start moving southward as we've already seen close to four. 0.6 inches of rain along I-69 in Kingwood. We've had several reports of very uh, some severe flooding going on in and around the Kingwood area along 59. So if you are in that location, just keep in mind to stay put. Not really recommended to travel on those roadways as this rain very slow moving. These storms are really not moving fast and the slow moving storms really contributing to that increasing flooding factor, especially for portions of uh, Harris County as well as northern Harris County. We're also keeping Keeping track of our river and our flood gauges as we look at the current flood gauges right now. We're seeing green for the most part across the city of Houston, but areas to the north, we're starting to see those yellows starting to trickle in, which is indicating that flooding is possible in and around those locations and those streams and bayous across the area, but we are expecting this to continue. The National Weather Service did extend the time of that flash flood warning. It will be in effect until 1:30 this afternoon as these storms are going to continue falling at least for the next hour or two. As we look at our future track, uh, what we're expecting to see from this point forward through the rest of our afternoon, we are expecting the very slow progression of the southward movement of these storms going into the next maybe two hours. So long lasting storms expected. These are the same storms that were dumping up to nine to 10 inches of rainfall in and around portions of uh, the north of the Houston area and around Huntsville, even uh, near along I-69 near Livingston. So as we look at our future track, we are expecting uh, some of these downpours to definitely make it into North Houston. It does not out of the question that we very well could see some downpours, these slow moving downpours in and around downtown Houston. So we are expecting this flood threat to continue at least as we get closer towards the four o'clock, five o'clock hours, and then by 536 PM, we are expecting us to have somewhat of a break in the rain going into later this evening. So uh, weather models are also indicating that we could see some more of a flare up of those showers and storms as we head into the next few hours. But other than that, expecting those conditions to remain mostly active in terms of our uh, weather forecast. We are expecting these uh, these storms to really not end all too soon as we head into the next few hours. So expecting that flood watch to also remain in effect for much of southeast Texas as we go into later on this evening as well. So right now this heavy rain still continuing to move across northern Harris County. We've seen some reports of uh, some some pretty bad flooding going on along the I-45 corridor, even I-45 at Cypresswood, uh, Spring Cypress north of town, as well as in around the spring area as they are still under that flash flood warning as uh, we are seeing that flooding ongoing, which is affecting a close to over 176,000 people across the Houston area or across uh, the northern part portions of Harris County. So definitely if you are in Houston, you you do not want to travel. Travel is not recommended for areas north of town, north of the Beltway. So just keep that in mind if you, as we go throughout the rest of this afternoon, to stay uh, to stay pretty much where you are because we are expecting uh, we very well could see some of these downpours making more of a southward movement as we go into later on today. So. The special weather statement that was issued for that storm near Cyprus. Uh, we're seeing some gusty winds, some pea sized hell with that. But also uh, just keep in mind that as we kind of look at this track, 
uh, it's looking more likely that this the, the, the southward, they're going to continue moving southward. You're able to see that line uh, starting to move southward into North Houston as well as uh, most. There's a lot of rain behind that as well as some uh, lots of lightning. So uh, lots of rain ongoing. We're going to see that flood threat continue across the area as we head into the next couple of hours. This is I'm going to go ahead and remove all of the warnings and watches just showing you the lightning and what we're looking at. This is looking. Let's go ahead and look past for the past three hours. As we look for the past three hours, not much movement ongoing. Even if I go back six hours, you know, you're able to still see uh, these storms just sort of continue to stay in place. This is looking starting at four o'clock this morning. And now we're at 1030, 1039 in the morning. And we're just continuing to see these storms that remain over uh, southeast Texas and just really not expecting to let up uh, at least for the next two to three hours. So therefore, uh, for folks across Houston, uh, you want to really pay attention to the latest weather alerts, especially those flash flood warnings, because we very well could start seeing those ponding on roadways ongoing for Houston uh, as we go throughout the next two to three hours as these storms are now starting to move in into central Harris County uh, as well. So keep that in mind. Be very cautious. Turn around. Don't drown. If even if you are in our rural areas north of town, uh, we're starting to see flooding of those rivers and streams. But uh, everywhere, uh, most of all of Montgomery County, even north of the Harris County is under that flash flood warning. Uh, that is an effect and that is really a, when you hear a flash flood warning that you want to assume that flooding is already ongoing for the area. So keep that in mind uh, for uh, the next few hours and we are continuing to track the latest weather updates as well as this increasing flood threat for the city of Houston as we head throughout the rest of our day. You can always stay up to date with the latest weather updates on the KHOU.com uh, website as well as on KHOU 11 app.